What's going on guys? Thanks for joining me. Oh, let me make sure this is straight. I hope you guys can see me and I hope this video actually works out uh, because I am recording at night and uh, yeah, I don't know how the GoPro really performs at night that well. So this is going to be a test. Uh, so hopefully it passes it. Uh, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about my favorite top five mods that I've done to my car. Um, and I apologize again that this is a late night video, but I wanted to get some content out there and I didn't want to miss the video um, for today. So I figured I'd, uh, you know, kind of put it together either way. Um, before I get started though, I do want to really extend my heartfelt thoughts to the victims in Vegas. Uh, this is supposed to be positive, guys. Um, I do want to talk about my top five mods, so we'll get started. So I'm going to actually do this backwards. I'm going to go from five to one. Number five is going to be my carbon fiber parts. I have my aggressive uh, carbon fiber rear spoiler, uh, which I got from USP Motorsports. And eventually I'm going to upgrade to a couple other things that I want to do as well. Um, also the, the side splitters that I wrapped and my mirrors. I think it adds just a little bit of flair to the car. If my car wasn't black, you would see it better, but I still think it adds a lot of style to the car, um, and I just love it. The aesthetics of it um, are just great. Coming in at number four, it will definitely have to be my LED headlights and taillights. Now, the taillights you have not seen yet, but I do have them. Um, it's the same company as the company who built my uh, headlights so it's uh it's actually you know it, they're actually really nice looking now i'm gonna need to code them obviously and i'll walk you guys through all that stuff that's not a problem at all um <clears throat> but i think again from an aesthetic perspective these headlights and taillights add a lot of flair to the car and somewhat make it your own and you know when i put on those taillights i said i was going to be different and hell i am and you know, I think it's the only video out there showing the, um, the the Smile LED Winjet headlights, which you know it's gotten some good uh, some good views. Um, you know, hopefully, eventually it gets more. Uh, but you know, uh, I'm gonna do the tail light install video, but that's to come later on. Number three on the list is going to be a two part thing. It's going to be my downpipe and resonated delete. I think this is a great setup for someone who's just wanting to upgrade but doesn't want to fork over the money for a cat back. I think the resonated downpipe with the stock resonated delete creates just the right amount of sound. Um, I can keep it real quiet and drive around, you know, 2,000, or I can take it up to like 4,000 and it really comes alive. Look at that. Yeah, so I have the Beaker uh, downpipe. It cost me about 200 and uh, what, 60, 70 bucks. I'll put a link down below somewhere uh, for the eBay uh, page where I got it from. But I think uh, it's a really good downpipe. I mean, there was some fitment issues or whatnot, which I got around. But for a 200 somewhat downpipe, dollar downpipe, like those things are definitely gonna happen. Number two on the list, will definitely have to be two parts, right? So it's gonna be my suspension setup. It's not the most expensive, again, suspension setup. It is the h &R Springs with the uh, BFI or Black Forest Industries spacers on it. It's a flush kit. So it's 15 in the front, 20 in the back. And I think it just makes the car look great with the OEM wheels. It's like, it's, it's the, the way that the car should have come from the factory. I very, very rarely rub on this car. Um, I would have to be going some like extreme potholes and usually I'm very careful with that stuff. So um, that is going to be number two um, on the list. And number one on the list, you probably guessed it, um, it is going to be my JB4. Now the guys at Burger Motorsports, George, thank you very much. Um, They've been super, super, super attentive to my needs and my, my tuning needs. Um, you know, G George, when I was tuning the MAP-6, uh, was very helpful. Um, he responded all the time. And the power output that I am able to get 
uh, from this car with just a MAP6 tune and you know downpipe and intake is phenomenal. According to George, with the tune that we did about three months ago or two months ago um, when it was hotter, I should have been pulling around 290 uh, wheel uh, horsepower and about 350 or so torque. Uh, now that it's getting a little bit colder outside, it is actually 59 degrees. I'm going to wait until it starts hitting the 50s more regularly during the day until I redo the, uh, the logging and get a new tune or get a new map, custom map 6. Um, and then at that point, I should be pulling around 319 and 376 wheel torque. So those are some phenomenal numbers for a little single, you know, uh, four-cylinder turbo. Uh, it's it's crazy what these cars can do. Thanks to all those videos, um, which I've, I think I've video, posted a video for every single one of these things. I'll link them down below uh, for you guys to watch. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed already, want to see more videos like this um, about the GTI, about you know just my car scene. Um, obviously, subscribe down below. Uh, you can actually I think click the watermark uh, down below somewhere and uh, and subscribe. So. Thank you very much for watching guys. Make sure you leave a like down below if you really enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Peace out.